I thought I'd design something to keep our tea bags tidier. I used Coral Draw for all my vector drawings. It took four attempts, trying to get the parts to fit together properly and look the way I wanted them to. For instance, these little nicks turned out to be quite important, but I didn't think of them straight away. I did get there in the end, and the parts are cut from one and a half millimeter steel on the plasma cutter. If I've added things up correctly, this should be enough for three sets of parts. All cut perfectly with my marvellous machine. And then I clean them up with three grades of abrasives. Those little nicks allow the tab to be bent over flush with the corner. And then everything is waxed and that's the main parts done. But I didn't want to weld this together. It's too slow and it's too messy and too many things could go wrong and I don't have the right welder anyway. So instead I designed this so um, little wedges keep it together. At first I used horseshoe nails as wedges because they're wedge shaped and because they're beautiful things in their own right. But sadly they didn't actually work very well. They loosened after a while. So I tried these things which are the old-fashioned flooring brads. They're stamped out of steel. Again, they're wedge-shaped. I like them, but they were just too big. So I drew this zigzag line on the computer and made my own wedge-shaped square nails. <laughs> That's a brilliant first time ever making nails. and they seem to work fine. This is how all the parts go together. So you start with one of these, which is the bottom plate, and you drop in two center plates, or dividers, and they just drop in to the little slots. And then you open it up a little bit, and you put in one of the doors, there's two sorts of doors. One with the ears at the bottom and one with the ears slightly further up. You want this, the one with the ears slightly further up. Put the ears into the top holes like that. Okay. And then put it over there, park it. And you need the other big plate that has little slots in it and they line up with the tabs the tabs just go through and with a pair of pliers you just give them a slight twist which way? it doesn't matter which way and you only go um, how many is that? 20 degrees or something? Not, not even a quarter turn, just a little bit, and it pinches those together. And then you're nearly there. There's the, that's the middle door. So you, then you get, you get a side piece, which just goes in. Just before it goes all the way in, you put a door in. And you 
push the side piece in fairly well and you should be able to get one of the nails into each of the holes in the tabs. Just put them in lightly for now. I think I might supply these already cut off, but for now I'm using a full size one, even though it's in the way of that hook. But I'll cut that off in a minute. And then do the other side just the same. Nearly done. You need a little hammer to give all the nails a tap. open. Lovely, lovely. We just need some oh. <coughs> Let's get some nice tea bags to put in them. After that Beautiful. I made two other styles mm -hmm. of doors. It's a slightly old-fashioned industrial look that doesn't suit every kitchen and they're not cheap because there's quite a lot of work involved in them but if you wanted one, I could send you one in a flat pack and you could figure out how to nail it together. After that, I made a bigger version. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder how big I could go with these. What else could go in them, do you think? Now then, time for tea. <laughs> 